Hey guys, it's me, Krista, and we're here at the pond at the Wilderness Center, which is the site of last night's spotted salamander mass migration. I wanted to show you here, this appears to be a giant water bug, which is one of many large predaceous macroinvertebrates that live here in the pond. Swimming around here, you can see some back swimmers. All of these guys are in the true bug group, which means that they have piercing mouth parts that they use to drink from their prey, much as you would drink from a juice box. Consequently, they're also capable to deliver a powerful bite if you were to handle them roughly. Now, this pond here tends to be a invertebrate haven because there are no fish present. So as you look into the depths, you can see all types of invertebrates swimming. You can see some whirly gig beetles down there spiraling about. Earlier I saw my first six spotted fishing spider on the surface and you'll see lots of them here in later parts of the year. But, of course, the reason that we are here is to look once more for the spotted salamanders. Because I had some trouble with my flashlights last time, and this time I have got much better visibility. It's also not raining. And, of course, while that is a pro for me, it is a con for the salamanders, so I didn't expect that they would be actively migrating tonight, but I did think that those which were already in place, usually the males arrive um, several days to a week ahead of the females, would still be present. And yet, I do not see them. Here, however, is a very large leech. These leeches particularly love this time of year because they do feed on the blood of the salamanders that enter the pool from the surrounding woods as well as they also make a meal out of their eggs. So they certainly do have their share of predators here but less than they would have in a pond with fish. And I did see another interesting larvae next to the leech that looked like, yeah, right here. Now I don't know all of my macroinvertebrates. Macro just means large, larger invertebrates. But that clearly would be some kind of a larvae. A lot of them are larvae of the beetles. We saw one last night that was, uh, was quite large and it was kind of zebra striped. So there's lots of interesting things here. And this is the same pond where different times of the year you can come out and dip net for invertebrates as well as larval salamanders and tadpoles, which of course are the larvae of frogs. So here you have a large tadpole. And he's probably a bull or green frog tadpole. You can't tell from here. The main way that I can tell the difference is by the positioning of the mouth. And, of course, to see that you'd have to pick them up. There are also various larger animals that make their homes here. I saw a beaver just this evening. And there are also uh, northern water snakes, snapping turtles, painted turtles, and occasionally Canada geese will come over here, although they do tend to prefer the deeper uh, waters of the lake, which is just across the way. So I'm still looking here for some salamanders, and much to my surprise, now once they have migrated out of the woods, one would certainly think that they would remain here in anticipation of the arrival of the females. So perhaps they are just out at greater depths right now. It does look like some of the males have deposited their spermatophores, which is of course their sperm packets. Now, I don't expect you to be able to see them, but they would be the small whitish things that you can see on the leaf litter. And last night, there were hundreds of spotted salamanders here. Uh, usually the males arrive first, and it seemed that they were the males. And uh, so I had hoped this evening to catch another glimpse of them. I will pick this video up later if 
I happened to catch sight of any of them. But I did just want to show you how cool it is to watch all of these invertebrates as well. And at any time of the year, from spring through the fall, you can come here on certain days or occasions and you can dip net with your kids or your friends or whomever you choose to uh, look for creatures that, that make this place their home. There's really fantastic creatures that live here. We've got another guy right here. You can probably see him better than I can. He would look to be a dragonfly larvae, but I'm having a little trouble seeing him. Let's see if I can't move this branch. And he seems to be eating something, so. Oh, <laughs> and indeed. He is, poor guy. But that is the larvae of the dragonflies that you see skimming through the air over ponds later in the year. They start their lives as aquatic predators. All right, so we'll see what else we can find and I will pick this up later, hopefully with some salamanders.